Hello, welcome to Robot Operating System for Beginners. In this session, we will be discussed about how to move turtle boat based on go to go location. The required code is provided in the description from Ross Wiki. One can use it for the practice. Let's get started. In this, uh, we are specifying x and y coordinates to the robot. So it should reach that particular location. Let me explain the code first. Now we are uh, importing same uh, geometry underscore messages. So but twist command and we are importing the pose. Uh, so this pose will give your X and Y coordinates, right? So instantaneously it will give the X and Y coordinate of your robot. Uh, so that's why from the turtle sim dot MSG, we are importing pose and we are using some mathematical operation just like square root tan inverse and power. So we are importing uh, all these three uh, mathematical commands. Okay, so these are the required libraries. So for this particular task. Now we are uh, creating our class. Our class name is turtlebot. Okay, in this I am defining. Uh, so here this is a very lengthy code. So just please focus carefully. Okay, so here we are defining uh, um, your um, objective, first objective. So in that your uh, node name is called turtlebot underscore controller. Okay. And again, we are giving anonymous is equal to true. That's why it will give unique IDs, right? Any uh, node, if it is subscribed to that, always it will generate your unique ID. Next one to publish the velocity. Uh, so we are using self dot velocity publisher. So in this publisher command, uh, we are calling the topic name turtle one under uh, slash command underscore velocity. Okay. So this is a topic name and this is a node name. Okay. And we are giving Q size is equal to 10. So it means buffer size is 10, right? So this is for publishing and we have to subscribe. Why? Because to get the data from turtle sim. So where your robot is locating actually. So to get that data, we have to subscribe, right? So for that we are using a subscriber command rospy uh, dot subscriber. So in this, uh, from, from this command, Total one underscore pose is a topic name. Okay, it will get the position of your robot. And um, next objective is we have to update this pose, right? So for that subscriber, always we are using callback function. Even if you if you check the talker and charter, in this also we are using the callback function. So that's why we are uh, defining callback for get the pose data. Uh, we are getting the pose dot x. So in a pose message, we are having multiple options. But here I, I required only the data for X direction and Y direction. Okay. So that's why we can specify your commands here. Post dot X and post dot Y and we can get the round of value up to four decimal. Okay. So from this callback function, we can uh, continuously get the position of your robot, right? Uh, for just like X and Y coordinates with four decimal uh, round of values. Next uh, here we, we are defining very three important parameters, three important individual objectives. That one is uh, first we have to give a linear velocity. So it will decide the speed of your robot in linear direction. And next we have to define the steering angle. For example, we are locating the position at the backboard. So it should take the turning, right? So that is called steering angle, right? After that, we have to give the angular velocity, right? Three important terms are there. So for these three, uh, first of all, we have to find out the distance between two points. What are those two, two points? Uh, first point is targeted point and uh, other point is your current location. Okay, your robot should move from current location to the targeted point. Okay, so that's why we we are going to find out the Euclidean distance. You, you are calling this object. It will find out the square root of x2 minus x1 whole square. Okay, power of 2. Okay, it is nothing but goal position minus self uh, current position x position. This is plus under root y2 minus y1 whole square. So this is a Euclidean distance formula. And second one, we have to specify the linear velocity. Okay. So here we are using proportional control. Uh, proportional controller constant is 1.5. We are specifying it is 1.5. So these constants we have to choose carefully. Uh, if you are giving larger value, so you, the robot will oscillate. Randomly it will oscillate, oscillate in your plane. So that's why these constants are very important. We will, uh, we will make a trial and error by changing these constant values how the robot will affect in the simulator that we will check already we found out the distance between current position and uh, uh, targeted position right 
so this we are multiplying with constant the constant value is 1.5 constant is called proportional constant so when we are um, controlling the robot we have to give the PID tuning even industrial robot uh, mobile robots uh, the jerk will be there when it is operating in a plane there will be a jerk right so to control that jerk and making the robot in a smooth operation uh, we are doing this PID controller right proportional integral or differential controller sometimes we will go for only P, P tuning or else sometimes we will go for PI tuning uh, in some cases we will go for PID tuning okay so this is very important to move the robot in a smooth manner and generally for PID tuning they will give they will do some experiments and finally they will achieve the constant okay so this constant value uh, 1.5 is actually multiplies by the Euclidean uh, Euclidean distance so what does it mean if it is 1.5 into your distance robot is very far away at that at that time your Euclidean distance magnitude will be high for example if the distance value is 10 let us say 10 and we are multiplying with the constant 1.5 so that is having higher velocity if the robot is very far away from my target point initially it will move very fast now instantaneously it will capture the distance Euclidean distance whenever the robot is uh, reaching your target he is ready to reach your target the distance the gap between two points will be reduces now from beginning it is 10 now you just assume the value is only 4 okay now the distance is reduced this 4 if you multiply it with 1.5 the velocity is reduced am i right the final velocity is reduced initially it will start with a higher velocity whenever it is approaching your goal slowly that velocity will decreases because of this tuning uh, your trajectory the path of your robot will be very smooth right and next step uh, defining steering angle now in this steering angle also we are finding out the tan inverse y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 okay based on this steering angle it will decide how much turn it should take how much distance it should take rotation will be defined by this steering angle and next one will fix your angular velocity okay so this angular velocity is also uh, we are giving constant term here we consider constant as 6 and for linear velocity constant is considered as 1.5 okay so these two constant we will change and we, we will observe what um, differences we can observe in the simulator we will find out okay so next the next we are defining move to goal so in, in this the goal position right the goal position it will take in terms of input from user okay we can define uh, before starting this one we can define what is your x position required x position and what is your required y position and here we are introducing the term tolerance as we are introduced the controllers and we have to give the tolerance for example i am specifying my coordinate points the robot should move 11 comma 11 x is 11 y is 11 and there is a tolerance like 0 0.1 mm right or else you can give zero at least slightly above the zero value you can give 0 0.1 0 0.5 sometimes you may give one value also so that is nothing but accuracy okay distance tolerance is nothing but accuracy how much accurately you would uh, you would like to reach the target points right so next one this is a user input data this block is for user input data next uh, here we are creating your logic okay so whenever your distance is greater than or equal to the tolerance distance let us say i am just given 0 0.1 is my tolerance and my robot is uh, uh, a distance gap of 5 so this loop will be uh, this loop will execute why because your 5 is greater than or equal to your tolerance is given 0 0.1 so what it will do it will it will give the linear velocity okay so it, and at the same time it will give the angular velocities right based on that it will keep on moving towards the target and whenever it is moving towards the target your euclidean distance will decrease slowly and it will re once if it is reaches to 0 0.1 your distance tolerance now the loop uh, this code will be terminated from this loop okay now it means you have reached your targeted point then we are forcefully stopping your robot by giving x is equal to 0 z is angular z is equal to 0 fine so it will uh, raspi dot spin will keep on executing this code right so once if it is done you can press the control c if you press control c the node will be stopped you copy the file from ROS wiki and paste it here create one empty document name it as uh, according to your convenience i'll name it as go to goal dot py double click on that the file empty file will be opened 
simply play, press control v and don't change anything if you don't disturb any indentation press control s this file will be saved after that so i hope that you are not close this turtle simulator okay so this uh, the robot is there i'm uh, i hope that you are, you are also not close this one right now you just open in a terminal here we can type we can type it here python space go to goal dot py okay so when you execute this file it is asking your x goal let us say i would like to move a distance of 10 and my y position is 10 my tolerance should be within a range of 0 0.1 if you enter now see your robot will you enter the steering angle and it will start you. moving towards the goal point okay now I just executed, um, just come out of the terminal by pressing Ctrl C. Okay, Ctrl C will terminate your previous uh, Python file. And again use the upper arrow mark and again enter. Now I am just specifying my goal points. So here I will give 1 comma 1, that is 1 comma 2, tolerance is 0 0.2, anything we can give. So that is nothing but the accuracy, how much accurately you should reach the goal, that is it. When I am enter, now your robot will take the turning and uh, reach your final point. I hope that this position, this position is 1 unit from X and 2 units from Y. Okay. Initially your robot at 5.5 units from X and 5.5 units from Y. So now it is at this location 1 comma 2. Fine. Now if you open the Python file, so go to call Python file. Now we just uh, randomly fix these values, constant values. Like, uh, one second, where it is. So in this rate we are defining, uh, this is pose value, self. It should be, uh, right here, constant. Constant it is 1.5. So uh, let me give some random number. Uh, I just given 10, okay. I fix my constant is 10. Now you see the linear velocity, even though it will get the data, time data instantly, the constant 10 is we are multiplying with higher value, we are giving higher velocity, right? Higher constant is nothing but we are giving the higher velocities, right? Why? Because it will return the value constant into the gap between two points, right? So if you are multiplying by 10 indirectly, we are giving higher velocity so that inertial forces will predominating. I just save this file by pressing Ctrl S or else we can use this uh, save option here. Okay, now my constant is 10, linear constant is 10. I place my robot here and this is a terminal. Press Ctrl C and use the upper arrow mark. Execute, execute this file. I just try to move the position, position 9, Y position 8. Tolerance as 0.1. Now you see robot uh, is just oscillating, right? In this coordinate point, it is oscillating. Why? Because you are giving very higher velocities. So it keep on oscillating. Uh, before it getting the data from the pose, due to that higher velocity, it is uh, acting abnormally. These three are in play. Either we can uh, change the linear velocity constant, or else you can change the angular velocity constant or else we can change the tolerance by by acting these three values by changing these three values we can control the robot so that's what that's a trial and error method either you can reduce the constant value or else you can increase the tolerance value let's see your control thing and again call your uh, simulator okay you'll get the new simulator now okay we will change the tolerance in that case x goal we will give 9 and 9 Move the data is very high even if you are given the tolerance is 5 the robot is not stopped and that brings us to the end thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel for future updates this is Srinivas signing off